क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिंगल फेज हाफ वेब रेक्टिफिकेशन यूजिंग आर एल लोड सो फ्रेंड्स एज वी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर अ सिंगल फेज हाफ वेब रेक्टिफिकेशन यूजिंग डायवर्ट However, now in this case, I am using a thyristor for a single wave half wave rectification. The main benefit of using a thyristor is it does the same job as diode. It blocks the negative half cycle. However, in this case, we can still control the conduction angle alpha. So we can control the alpha as per our own need so that we can change the output voltage. Now, friends, if you can see this circuit, I have connected a sine wave source through a thyristor to an resistive and inductive load so now let's talk about the waveform so friends if you can see here this is the source voltage alpha be the conduction angle or alpha is called the angle at which the gate pulse is given or the gate current is given to the gate terminal of thyristor so that it starts conducting let's talk about the output voltage waveform let v not be the output so as we all know from zero to alpha the thyristor does not conduct so there will not be any output voltage now after alpha the output voltage will appear to an angle beta and again from beta to the next alpha there will not be any output voltage because thyristor blocks it and after alpha again you can see the output voltage because all these things i've already discussed in the earlier lecture so it will be kind of easy to understand guys now let's talk about thyristor voltage so we all know friends the thyristor voltage will be the voltage which is blocked by the thyristor during the operation of the same so as we all know friends thyristor voltage is the voltage which is blocked by the thyristor during the operation so obviously the voltage that will be appearing across the thyristor will be the voltage which the thyristor blocked so from zero to alpha as the thyristor blocked the voltage so we can see this portion of the waveform again from beta to the next alpha as a thyristor has blocked the voltage we all can see the waveform across the thyristor now friends let's derive mathematically some basic expressions for a single phase half wave rectification let's say alpha be the firing angle beta is called the extinction angle and v which is called beta minus alpha is called conduction angle conduction angle is the angle range in which we see the output voltage now friends if we apply a simple kirchhoff law in the loop we can easily get this equation which is equal to vm sin omega t is equal to r i naught plus l d i naught by dt again let's say i s be the steady state current which is equal to vm by under root r square plus x square into sin omega t minus phi where phi is the angle which is equal to tan inverse x by r where x equal to omega l and phi is the phase angle where x is called the impedance as we all know impedance equal to omega into l now friends let's talk about the transient operation let i t be the transient current if we consider the transient operation the equation becomes r i t plus l d i naught by dt is equal to zero and by solving that we get i t is equal to a epsilon minus r t by l now friends the output current will be equal to the transient current plus the steady state current so here i have written down an equation the output current will be equal to the steady state current plus the transient current if we put the value of the steady state current and the transient current in the same equation we get this final expression now friends let's discuss a bit further now at alpha is equal to omega t i naught is equal to zero so the output current will be equal to zero when the conduction angle will be equal to omega t so putting the value of i naught in the same equation we get zero is equal to v naught by z sin omega t minus phi plus a so friends let's talk about the transient state so let's say i t be the transient current so in case of a transient state we can easily write this equation so the earlier equation becomes r i t plus l d i naught by dt is equal to zero 
by simplifying that we can easily get the value of transient current which is equal to it is equal to a epsilon minus rt divided by l so we all know the output current is equal to is plus it so if i write i naught is equal to is by it the final expression of i naught becomes this vm by z sine omega t minus phi plus a e minus r t by l where z is the impedance which is equal to under root r square plus x square so friends we all know at alpha is equal to omega t which you all can see here i naught becomes zero and you can put a zero in this equation and the finally the equation becomes this and this equation is very much important to calculate the circuit parameter so for any numerical you can put this kind of condition and find the value of the different circuit parameters now friends let's calculate what will be the average value of the output voltage and what will be the average value of the output current so the average value of the output voltage is given by now friends let's calculate the average value of the output voltage and the average value of the output current so the average value of the output voltage is given by one by two pi within limit alpha to beta because it conducts during alpha to beta vm sine omega t d omega t and the average value of the load current is given by so that will be the average value of the output voltage if we solve this equation we get the final average value and the output current average value will be equal to vm by two pi r into cos alpha minus cos beta so friends to summarize using thyristor we can rectify a sine voltage or a ac voltage however we will not be getting the negative half cycle across the output load using rl load we can easily use a thyristor across the rl load to control the conduction angles hence to control the output voltage thank you so much friends for watching this video please subscribe to ekeda and stay tuned with ekeda thank you so much